Hello and welcome back to this channel. So today's tutorial is going to be a very relaxed one where we're going to use Adobe Fresco to sketch out some cute fruits and vegetables. So let's just get started. I'm going to go ahead and click on small postcard. It really does not matter what size artboard you're using because we're just going to be sketching. And the main thing is we're going to be using vector brushes for this illustration. I'll just quickly show you why I'm choosing the vector brushes instead of the pixel brushes so that I'm just going to go to basic and click on hard round and let me just, okay, let's take a different color and draw a blob and I'll just go to pixel brushes and I'm going to take basic round and draw a blob as well. Okay, and let me just quickly check some other color and reduce the size. Oops. And then make some lines like this. And let me go to the pixel one and oops, reduce the size. And let's do this. Okay, now if I go close in to the pixel brushes, you can see this all the ragged edges. And it doesn't look clean and, you know, crisp. But now if I go to vector brushes, see how clean and crisp these lines are so basically you can create these vector illustrations and the main point is you can take these illustrations into your illustrator and finish it up or create like a, a seamless pattern and stuff like that i have a video on how to create a seamless pattern by taking all your elements from here to illustrator i'll link it in the description box below do go check it out so as you can see it created two different layers because one is vector other one is pixel Okay, all the explanations are enough. Let's go ahead and start creating. So I'll go to my vector brushes and base, basic round and I'm going to choose something very purple because I feel like I want to draw some blueberries. So let me go ahead and choose something like this. Oops. And let's go a bit more purplish, I guess. Okay, this looks good. So all I'm going to do is make a circle or a oval, not a circle exactly. And I'm going to go ahead and fill it in like this. But now I'm going to go ahead and edit these things like this. As you can see, I've kept the brush at 10 point. You can keep it at any size because these are vector you can increase and decrease the size later as well and it really does not matter and now to add some nice touch to it so i'm just going to go ahead and darken it a little bit and make some things like this okay and now let's go ahead and click on white you can just actually check take anything or just go here and you have to reduce this to really small maybe this yeah that looks okay and now i'm going to go ahead and draw like this so one challenge with the vector brush is you can't use clipping masks on this so if you try to use a clipping mask it automatically asks if you want to convert it into a, a pixel layer which we don't want so i'm just going to cancel that and we have to be a little careful when we draw these things out. Okay, that's fine. And now let's go ahead and click on some green. So I'm just going to go ahead here and uh, take some a little bit of dark green. Actually much darker. I want a more olivey green, I guess. And then just add something like this and like that. And you can see your blueberry is ready. So now if you want, you can add a face to it. That is, you can go ahead and click on black. It's already here and make a tiny cute face. But it's totally up to you. You can just keep it as plain as well. Okay, next up is a carrot. So let's get ready for that. I'm going to choose some orange. Let's keep it up here. And I'm just going to make sure that this edge is not straight. It's something like this and let's go to the fill tool here and click and it's going to cover it with the color 
that looks fine. And now I want it to be a little darker. It's in the fill tone, so go back to your brush tool. This looks fine. So I'm just gonna quickly draw some lines like this. That looks good. And obviously we need some, uh, this is optional. You don't really need it. Okay, and now it's time to go ahead and select a green. And for this, I'm going to take something like this and make it like this. And I feel like I need to add a face to this because he looks very bored. So let's just do that. It's a side face. And there you go. He's a happy chap now. Next, let's try to draw a fig, shall we? So we need again a purple color. So I'm just gonna go here so that you can see some purple shades here and maybe take a darker purple because uh, figs are a bit darker in color and uh, they tend to be a lot darker like that. So a fig shape is basically like this, a flat bottom and then like that, right? Maybe not like this here, but you know, okay, this looks more like a fig. I'm just gonna color it completely. And then now it's time to go ahead and take some white. It's not exactly white. Let's make it lighter purple. And I'm going to go ahead and draw, oops, go to your brush and I'll draw some really light lines like this. And that looks okay. And let's go ahead and choose a green, a very dark one. And let's make a tiny, thing here that's fine and i want to put some eyes on this guy so i'm just going to take white it's too big let's make him really happy that he's getting eaten give him some cute okay so we have a fig ready which is all smiles and then next we're going to try and create a broccoli. Yeah, broccoli is not that, you know, not everybody's favorite. At least I hate it. But it's nice to draw broccoli once in a while. I have a green, but I think I want something different. A uh, bit like this. Okay, this looks fine. So it's basically a trunk. You know what? Let's do this. Uh, basically a trunk. And then like this this maybe over here you know they have all these different shoots right like that okay looks like a cactus right now but it's not then let's color this like this using the fill tool and i want to go ahead and change and give it some kind of a dimension so oops so i'm just gonna go ahead and add some shadows oh go back to your vector brush and add some shadows this is a bit too dark so i'm just gonna go ahead and Make it a little lighter and then let's add some shadow. I'm not really good at adding shadows, but sometimes it kind of gives ni nice depth and stuff like that. And now since I'm already in this brush, I'm going to add some lines here. Okay, I see one problem here that I don't have enough space to make the head. So what I'm going to do is click on this tool right here and click, select like this and then transform and I'm going to go ahead and bring it down and click on done and then deselect. So I brought it down a little bit so that it's much easier to draw now. So you should go to your brush now and I'm gonna choose the original color that we had Okay, that one. And now I'm going to make some swirlies. I know it's really hard to draw a broccoli, so just make some swirlies like this. And then I'm going to choose the darker color that I have here. And then draw in some swirlies as well. Okay. So your broccoli is ready, but I want to give it some eyes. 
because I think it'll look really good with some ice. So let's do that. And let's give him a expression where he's really surprised. So your broccoli is ready as well. Next, let's make a tomato. So go ahead and choose your red color. Uh, make the brightest red that you have because, you know, tomatoes are so colorful. And you can basically draw this in any size or any shape, I mean, because, you know, tomatoes come in so many different shapes, so it doesn't matter. And then let's go to green. And uh, this one, I'll make it something like this. I keep doing that and go back to your brush tool and then make something like this. Make sure to do that and a tiny thing here so that we have a tomato ray. So let's put a face on this guy as well because I think he'll come out cute if you have a nice feature on him. There you go. He looks so cute, doesn't he? I'm just going to quickly erase these, all these rogue strokes because I keep clicking on, you know, some places and then it creates all these random things. I think we should draw a lemon next. So let's go ahead and choose yellow and let's go all the way to the top. And I like that yellow really well. So what I'm going to do is the lemon, it's going to be something. Okay, go back to your brush tool. It's going to be something like this and it has a pointy edge and then it goes like this right i think i got the shape right uh here it might be a little pointed we can adjust that and then fill tool perfect and i'm gonna go ahead and click on a little bit orangey side of it and make some lines okay let's give him a face as well with black and he's a sleepy little boy So our lemon is also ready. And next, let's make a pear. So I'm just gonna go ahead here and click on yellow, but I'm going to take something which is slightly greenish because I believe pears are a little greenish. So basically pears are like this, and then they have a bottom like this, and then they go ahead and draw like this. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and color it all green. This looks very green. I don't know if I should continue using that, but I'll try to use this and color this one. Okay, it's a bit yellow, but not as yellow as the lemon. I think this should be okay. And now I'm gonna go ahead and click on brown. You can just bring this here and go down, and then you can make a, go to your brush tool, and a little stock and I want some spots on here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click on this and reduce the opacity a little bit maybe something like that and maybe draw some spots a little lighter and a bit here as well Okay, that looks good, but we can add a face to this as well. So I'm just going to bring the opacity all the way to 100, click on black color, and now let's make a face. But he's a very happy fellow. So he's got a funny face on him. Next, we could make an apple. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on this and go all the way up and take a little darker red because apples are a bit darker. And then go ahead and make a shape like this. So it is a pointed here, a little bit pointed, but here it's a bit flat. And actually you can make apples in any shapes, you know, perfect round works as well most of the time. So in here, I'm gonna go ahead and click and color this one. And for, let's make this guy a little unique. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go back to brush tool, click on the black color and instead of filling out the stock i'm just going to give him a black and white stock like this and then let's make him all happy and a little butt 
That looks good. If you want to give him feet, make him a little happy dance beat and a little hands as well. You could always give him a little motion. There you go. Your happy apple is done. Let's now draw a cute orange. So I'm just going to go ahead and select this orange same as what we had for carrot. Um, yeah, but I think let's change it up a little. Make it a little more orangey. And this one, I'm just going to draw around. Doesn't matter if it's proper round or not. Click and let's fill it up. And now we're going to make this a little cute girl. So let's go ahead and choose our brush. Again, let's go to black. You can do any color you want. Let's make a little bow for her. And then a little cutie pie. She's a bit shy. So that's how she actually looks. But you can add some whites. Oops. And let's obviously do that. And some things like that. And you can also change the color of her bow here be a little careful don't yeah there you go your kiwi orange is also ready i've realized we didn't draw strawberries at all so let's draw some sour strawberry or let's draw a strawberry so i'm just gonna go ahead and i think this red looks fine so i'm just gonna make a shape just very strawberry like and click on that and now you need to make little freckles on it. So I'm going to take a little darker red and then click on the brush and then make things like this. There you go. Put some on the corners as well. Okay. And then let's go ahead and take some green, a darker version of it. And let's draw a stock is that is it called stock i don't seem to remember and obviously they have like a lot of this like that cool now it's time to add some face because we like to give it a face so go ahead and give it some face he's a sad little strawberry now let's make him happy he's a happy little strawberry now but he has some moves to him, so let's make him all shiny. Okay, your cute strawberry is also ready. Okay, I think I'm going to end the class here because I could go on forever and ever and it will never end because there's so many fruits and vegetables out there and you can all turn them into really cute illustrations with a fresco and you don't need fancy brushes that's the thing you can just use the basic brush that comes with fresco and uh, you can try these things out with other brushes in the pixel brushes range as well and let me know if you want me to do a tutorial on what i would do with this in illustrator or how i would use it or something like that i'll try to incorporate it into my next video or something so just if you i hope you like this video if you like this video make sure to hit that like button and the subscribe button as well and don't forget to hit the notification bell okay i guess i'll see you in the next video then bye bye